My name is Daniel Sparling, and uh, I grew up in Vermont. I went to school at Savannah College of Art and Design for animation. Dark Legacy uh, is about a young boy who comes up against a supernatural force and gets into a fight to survive that encounter. The idea originated from a reoccurring nightmare that I had that I wrote down into a script and then storyboarded. In high school, I was always looking for different ways to learn and I was a part of the Hannaford Career Center in Vermont that uh, gave young people, high school students, uh, different experiences and I was part of the video tech program. So I started making shorts and self intros and documentaries and stuff uh, pretty young. Went to school, started finding out about how to tell stories with stop motion and clay and found objects and then learned how to do 2D animation. Um, really like CG, computer generated animation, but it's really hard to tell stories by yourself when it takes so much time just to get one finished frame. So I think I focus primarily on stop motion animation. I just, I loved it. You had the fingerprint of the artist right in there. A good friend of mine and a co-worker, Tim Joy, kind of was guiding me through, I'd worked with him on a bunch of shorts and he guided me through sort of the whole filmmaking process, getting the script uh, ready for storyboards and then figuring out how many crew members we were gonna need for the bigger shoot days. I had I had been doing a, very, a bunch of different jobs with uh, working with him, including aerial cinematography, and uh, grip work, special effects makeup. I mean, I'd just kind of, I'd done every single job except for directing something live action, and I wanted to try my hand at it and sort of get all the control. Uh, little did I know <laughs> what all that entailed and just how, what a skill it is to be able to direct, you know, real people as opposed to a stop motion puppet where, you know, anything you do comes through. It was uh, many, many months of pre-production, doing the facial prosthetics. Um, I had built these inverted knee stilts, uh, loosely modeled off of stilts I had seen from Weta Workshop in New Zealand, and there was a lot of trial and error. There was a lot of falling over and realizing that there's a reason people spend <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars making those mechanisms work just right and fit just right because otherwise it's a bit of a safety hazard. <laughs> Everything about the process was a little bit daunting but I also really enjoyed it. I uh, got a little bit overly excited with the blood cannon <laughs> when the witch's blood hits the uh, young actor's face. I had a little bit too much CO2 in there <laughs> and a little bit too much blood and it actually really startled him so his reaction is very genuine very real <laughs> and uh, I thanked him many times for for uh, letting me torture him that way and the flying effects were pretty difficult I had worked on a production of Peter Pan with a, a full flying rig the the proper way and I fo found out about costs and I just I couldn't I couldn't bring that to Dark Legacy so we we did our best and I had some really great guys helping me out with the pulleys and the ropes. Should have had a little bit more counterweights. I had to ask a bunch of the crew to drop what they were doing and haul on some ropes, but uh, four or five times later, tries later, um, yeah, the witch flew down from the, the ceiling and a few days after painting out all the wires, the effect really came together. So I funded the film through Kickstarter, which is a crowdsourcing uh, fundraising forum. And uh, I let all my family and friends know, and then posters and emails, and just sent Facebook messages out to anybody I could think of, just saying, hey, I've got this project. I want you to be a part of it. Can you, can you give me a little, uh, a little backing for, uh, to make this movie happen? And I was really, excited, a little bit freaked, because if you don't meet your goal, you don't get any of the money for your project. But I met my goal, I think, two or three days before the deadline. I did the 30-day 
um, fundraising campaign and was just really happy with uh, people showing their support. That a lot of people believed in me and were willing to put uh, their money where their mouth was. <laughs> I really learned a ton making these shorts and uh, I'm really just happy that other people are going to see them. <laughs>